Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about next use information about names in basic blocks. Uh, if the name in a register is no longer needed, then that register can be assigned to some other name. In other words, we can say that if the name is having next use, then it cannot be that register cannot be allocated to some other uh, name because uh, we are going to use the register in future. Uh, so, for example, consider this uh, two statements. These two statements, uh, the statement, this statement, x equal to y plus z is called as i. i is a label, and this statement is j. So, if the statement i assigns some value to x, that is, y plus z is assigned to x, and statement j uses x x as an operand, uh, means we can say that x has the next use. Uh, in statement j right if the statement i assign some value to x and statement j uses x as an operand uh, operand means then we can say that x has next use so that register cannot be assigned for some other uh, name and we can also say that x is live on exit but this x uh, should not be changed in in between between i and j right then uh, the algorithm this is uh, used for determining liveness and next use information for each statement in a basic block so uh, for this algorithm uh, input is a basic block we are going to consider uh, the basic block with a list list of three address statements and we are going to uh, assume that the symbol table initially shows all non-temporary variables in the basic block as being live it means that all the variables are uh, initially assign, assumed as live and the temporary variables are not live then the output is at each statement uh, i colon x equal to y operator z we have to attach i uh, attached to the statement i the liveness and next use information of all the variables x y and z so method uh, here this algorithm is a backward scan algorithm we st so that we start at the last statement in B and scan backwards to the beginning of B. Then there are three steps at each statement i equals x equal to y operator z in basic block we have to do three steps. First step is attached to statement i that is uh, the name of the statement attached to statement i the information currently found in the symbol table regarding the next use and liveness of x y and z that is we need to attach i about um, uh, the liveness and next use information of all the three variables so initially we know that all the temporary variables are not live and all the variables are live so for example if you consider all our variables uh, all our names then we need to uh, assign all the variables are live and uh, no next use initially no next use then uh, second statement second step is in the symbol table we need to set x to not live and no next use x means left hand side variable so in the second step we need to set x has no uh, next use as well as not live and in the third step in the symbol table we need to set y and z to live and the next uses of y and z to i it means that right hand side variables y and z actually a basic block has only three uh, maximum of three addresses so the right hand side two variables must be set as live as well as next use uh, next uses of y and z to i it has next use at i so we need to set like that and consider uh, this basic block is having two statements so now we are going to find um, liveness and next use information about all the variables so now consider the basic block has two statements so the algorithm uh, is a backward scan algorithm so we need to start with uh, the statement j so first we need to find liveness and next use information of all the three variables a b and d so in algorithm first statement uh, first step is attached to statement i the information currently found in the symbol table regarding the next use and liveness of x y and z that is the symbol table information must be entered so uh, we have to consider all the temp non temporary variables as live so live uh, liveness of a is true b is also true d is also true 
and next user so initially all the variables are not having uh, next use so none then uh, this is the first step so after this um, uh, second step must be applied so second step is the left hand side variable must be set as not lib and no next use so the left side variable is d so d is uh, not having uh, uh, we have to set not live information so liveness information is false and it has no next use we need to set no next use so its next use is none and the third step is and uh, in simple table we need to set y and z that is right hand side variable must be set as live so uh, liveness of a is true b is also true and next use of y and z must be set to i so next use of a is next use of a is j here and next use of b is j so uh, actually uh, this is done before uh, this j suppose in our forward scan uh, um, while executing the program in forward scan before seeing i if we see the uh, liveness and the next use information we can know about a and b that is a is having next use at statement statement number j and b is also having uh, next use at statement number j so these registers cannot be assigned for some other statement okay so backwards scan algorithm is used for uh, assigning liveness and next use information but while executing the program while constructing the target program we will use a forward scan only so before j we can uh, know about a and b variables it has the next use at j so that it cannot be allocated to some other purpose Similarly, now we need to uh, scan the next uh, statement. So, i colon a equal to b plus c. E. Uh, so, the same uh, algorithm as per the algorithm. First step is current symbol table information must be um, applied to all the variables. So, current symbol table information is uh, liveness of a, b or true. So, true, true. C is also a variable only. It's not a temporary, temporary variable. So, it's a it is also true and next use information of a is j next use information of b is also j and next use information of c this is not known so none then as per the uh, second and third steps um, in second step uh, we have to set a as not live so false and next use information of uh, uh, a is also no next use so that none we need to set like this then for the right hand side we have to set liveness as true so true and true here and next use information must be set to the statement number i okay so this is um, uh, before i if you see the uh, if you want uh, if we want the register then uh, we cannot use b and c registers because they will be used in uh, statement number i so these registers cannot be allocated similarly after executing i if we want the register then a and b a and b has the next uses um, next uses in statement number j statement number j so they cannot be allocated but c can be used for uh, the register for c can be used so next use and uh, liveness information can be used for reassigning a register to some other name if the register is no longer used it can be assigned to uh, some other name so for register allocation this next use information is very much important so by using this algorithm we can find the uh, next use and liveness variable liveness information for uh, any three address statement thank you